I just sat very quietly, thinking about the big teeth. She was only small herself. What if a fox took her? She lay on her side, one arm missing. Bluish tendons and veins were exposed at the knotted edge of the butchered plate. Violet scum bubbled out and formed a hard shimmering claw, like blowing glass. Johnny asked Ava to lie on the metal table while he drew different parts of her body. He had a lot of diagrams now of how a person worked, at least how a little girl worked. The man with the head in his coat was right at the scarred faces. Every one of them had something around their mouths and noses, a bit of cloth, a handkerchief, a cane around. Daniel took her soft, peachy hand and led her out of the room. She was a little woozy on her feet. Ava, darling, Daniel started. How do you know my name? Ava asked suddenly, letting go of his hand. Ava, darling, you're a star.